Hey everyone, Mickey here, back with another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And man, I guess going to Asgard was not a good decision, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fighting that hound, oh man, that, it, it was a level, I guess it was 280. I don't remember actually, but yeah, I didn't like it. Like, yeah, I think like even... Evo didn't like it like the competition that we had man it was un it was no match actually and this very weird right why would you match a person who is at level 160 or around that to 280 obviously we won't be able to fight although like if we uh if we would have kept track of our health we might have because we'd already almost took half of it health so maybe in, in one uh health uh, revive or, or whatever like Restore, we could have taken the other half, but again, still there is a huge gap between 160 and 280. And it said the suggested level was 90 for Asgard. I don't know why it said that. It's very weird. And I th I think we made a good decision to get back and do uh, pursue other uh, other alliances and anything so that we can gain more lev uh, more experience and levels and everything. And then we'll go back to Asgard. Let's see. Let's see how we do that. Let's see what this episode has for us. Without further ado, let's start this episode. I think we can come back again. But man, that wolf is one crazy one. <laughs> Like, no, I have to level up to beat that guy. I think I'm going to do some alliances. Maybe we'll get more skills and everything and then we'll go. Once we are around like 250 or something like that. I want to see the alliance map. So, should we go to Essex? I think that is the place, pretty easy one. Then we can go to Yorwick it is. Yes. Okay, let's go to Essex. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. Okay. We are heading to Essex. Once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Yo! <laughs> we should not do that. <laughs> Avo, have you no. seen Wallace? No, and I want to I don't want to see him. <laughs> okay, can we fast travel to any closest point to Essex? Uh this is Essex. What is the closest point? Okay. This could have been, but it's not. So maybe we'll start from here. We'll go to here, then here, and then here. Okay. Let's just quickly do that. Okay, so that we are here. Where do we need to go there? Okay. Get. Okay, I don't know wh why. Why would you do that? Sit on him. Okay, what is happening? I'm not getting the prompt to sit. Know what? Yeah, now I got on. Okay, let's go to this place first. How far is it? Oh, is this 500 meters? Can we go straight?
it's not 500 meters it's thousand meters and we have to cross this area Okay, let's see. I don't think we can reach there in this, like, you know, this horse is single breath, I guess. We should call it. Move, brother, move. Should we call him brother? I mean, I don't know. Okay, now that we have refilled his breath, I don't know how, but we did. Yeah, what? Me, what? Tell me. Nothing. Okay, we are getting there. Yeah, it's that. I'm sorry guys, I don't have anything else to say right now. So I'm just trying to mimic a horse's footsteps. So we have finally. Okay. Okay. Synchronize. Now we have to go to the second one and then we'll go to that marker. Composed with you spewing in his ear. He be in intercept. Okay, I have no idea. I think it's that guy who is talking. That's fine. We don't have to pay attention. We can just leave for now. Can you jump? Wait, you just jumped in here. Yes. Good job. Oh. Yeah, let's do some flighting, man. Can we do some flighting? I'll be back. Bahadur. I don't... No, it's not flighting, man. Yeah, it's not flighting. Let's go there. Okay, why, I, why do I don't... S it's very weird. I don't see another synchronization point on my map. Ma not on my map. I mean, on the compass. For some reason, but there is. See, it's there. It is there. I knew it was there. Can we enter this place? Won't be gentle if whoa, they whoa. Take your last breath. Okay. He is not looking at us, so that is fine. Yo, I want to join you guys. How do I blend in? Okay. Don't block the path, please. And now I'm getting that same feeling. That uh, Assassin's Creed 1 game feeling. But in that, those guys wore white robes and thus they have black. Can we walk a little bit to the left? Where, where the hell are you going? Tabas and Feli solo to muid armis venit pluviali. Vel fortibis aida mores necne. Hecris tristes. 
Hey, non cupidum eorum. And it's taking forever. I just need to enter this. I could have climbed up and gone quicker. So slow. You know what? I'm done. Where do we need to climb? I don't see anybody else. What is this? Can I sell the extra gear over here? Let's see. See shop. Sell. Sell all trinkets. I can always use more of that. Uh, I am man. Like that? It could be yours. This is buy the gear. Would look very fetching. There is no selling the gear, man. That's very bad. Until next, we meet. Bye bye. I have to go. See you soon. Look, I have to learn, man. It's been quite long, like a lot of hours. I have put around 40, 41 hours in this game. And I still don't know what to do of the excess gear. Like in... in <laughs> in Odyssey, we could keep them in like on our ship or in, like, you know, things like that. We can do those kind of things. But in this, I cannot do anything like that. And carrying everything, I mean, that's stupid. And it's not stupid, but a cluttered way. Whoa. Why are there people here? Okay, no. Why would you do that? Are you stupid or what? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Whoa. Okay, from here she doesn't know where to go. Let's see from the other side if and climb from the other side. Climb up. Okay, I guess we cannot climb from the other side. Can we jump that way? Oh, finally! Fi what? I was like, you climbed and you then just... <laughs> okay, that's that ladder thing. Okay, will you stop doing that? I mean, why cannot it climb? Like the game says using an A, I can climb anything. A again. Okay, let's synchronize this. And then we go and meet Preston. Can we jump down? Oh yes, we can. Okay. I don't care.
friend. Okay. It seems Elderman Pearson has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would? Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife okay, where like are we going? Skirt. We're going up. Uh, okay. I think it's this way. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. Where is he? Then I'll speak to you. You are not a Saxon? Okay. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Okay, so now we have to find the Elderman. Why are we in this cutscene then? Okay, the arc started. Cutscene. <laughs> Patience is a godly virtue, Adrid. Okay, let's see where this is. It's near to this place. Then we'll go here. Bahadur, let's go. Yeah, I see the camp. I don't need to locate the area. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Okay. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Hmm. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large Ooh. beast or two. Okay. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. That's a huge footprint, footprint, man. Huge. Show me. Okay. But man, that is one huge footprint, man. I don't like where it's going. <laughs> Beer 
Finish then! Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears! Do not let them charge you! Okay, they are dead. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I come at your goal. <laughs> I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her. Keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye. A crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Send them back to Alfred. Are they men or babes? 
if Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Wine and song is the answer to end problem. You should contribute to the festivities, nor fasting come to the feast. Often should one make an early meal, nor fasting come to the feast. The feast, yes. The festival. This is not for full bellies, but to bless the loaf. Does that not bring us all good fortune? And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Mules will mean nothing if your land is taken, yeah. Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. Look, I think they're right. I know, I'm getting a feeling that they are right. <laughs> that ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerstan. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerstan. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Your love has gone sour. What do you need of me? Okay, I don't care about your love. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Your god prevents your king prevents him. Then what is stopping you? Your king Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. 
I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. <laughs>